This is Sanford Stadium on the campus of the University of Georgia in Athens. All 82,122 seats have been sold for this one, even though classes have not yet started at the university. Now, here come the Red Elephants of Alabama. Five and six a year ago, first losing season in 25 years. Ray Perkins, 13 and 10 in two seasons. He played on three SEC champion teams at Alabama and All-American end in 1966. Here come the Georgia Bulldogs. Georgia 7-4 and 1 last season tied Florida State in the Citrus Bowl. In the decade of the 80s, Georgia has won 29 and lost only two. Thank you, Timmy, and we're ready to kick it off. The ball is on the tee, and Tron Jackson is deep as Van Tippen comes forward and hits it. Gary Moss is back there with him, and it is Jackson circling under the ball and taking it to the outside, tripped up, and brought down around the 18-yard line by Todd Rich. Third down and two for the Georgia Bulldogs. The ball is at the 42, and the ball goes to Peyton. Tate is hammered. Does not reach the line of scrimmage as Big John Hand. 6'7 and 275 from Sylacauga, Alabama. Nails him down at the 40. And it's a loss of two yards. Alabama claiming fumble. The ball was blown dead, and it's fourth down. Both offensively and defensively. And on first and five, Albert Bell goes in motion. Shula pitches to Goode. Again, kind of the flags down. Terry Goode's got a first down as he breaks two tackles and moves the ball beyond uh, the midfield stripe to the Georgia 49. But let's see about the flag. And it was a lot. Second down and nine from the Georgia 48. First quarter getting underway. First game of the season for both teams. Craig Turner trying to bounce outside. Does get something out of it. Good leg drive for the big fullback. And he's down to about the Georgia 42. They're having a good time. Wide man is Fred Lane. And Johnson is in the end zone to throw. Lines it up and lets it fly. And it is incomplete. Fred Lane, the speedster, and he was burning down the sidelines on a fly pattern. Courage tonight. Greg Richardson is deep. No pressure. Kick is out. Pretty good kick to midfield. The 49. Richardson takes it. He's got some room. And comes back inside the Georgia 40. It'll be first down Alabama at the Bulldog 39. Alabama's gone for it in this first quarter. They go over the top with Chester Braggs and that took the penalty and punted it. But this time they went over the top and got it. This is good back in the ball game. And Perry runs it from about to send uh, an extra lineman in. Because George was anticipating that Washington won't pass, but he does go for the pass. The blitz on, the pass thrown down the middle, intercepted by Tony Flack. Tony Flack at free safety is loose on the sidelines, and he comes all the way back outside the 30, and a penalty flag is thrown. He may have a clip downfield. Keith, I, I saw the block. I thought it was a legal block. Now Fred Lane has come into the lineup for speech. The clip goes back, however, to Lars Tate, and Cornelius Bennett pins him down for a loss inside the 10. Five for the third down snap. They've got to go to the 40. They're defending this time. Three-man run. Option play. Outside goes. Braggs pulls it down. Gets loose. Picks up the first down. Good run by Chester Braggs. Ball is just over the 40 of Georgia. He's got to take his pole in the fourth quarter. Yes, sir. Shula down the middle with it. Bell pulls it in. Perfect throw this time by Shula. And Bell broke his pass. And that puts him in the man coverage. So Shula drops. He looks for Bell. He's wide open. Cut. Ray Perkins was very, very exuberant, just e effusive in his praise. Uh, missing. And Van Tippen, who's never missed an extra point at Alabama, stands in there. 63 out of 63, and now make it four. And the Crimson Tide. Stanley Blaylock is in the lineup now. Jackson pitches back to take. They reverse the ball. Here comes uh, Blaylock around. Great speed, the fastest man. Fumbles the football, but Georgia covers it. Jackson following the play. Falls on the ball. Pound defensive end. From about the 32, Jackson gets good protection, goes down the field with it. Hockaday, first down inside the Alabama 25. He's the best pass receiver. The tailback. They need 20 yards for the first down. The ball is handed to the up man, and it is McCluskey. Down to near the 20. Boy, Keith, that's enough. Try to go for the field goal if they can. Third and eight now. 
Jackson got a problem, but he runs away from part of it and then gets back to the line of scrimmage. He almost hold it. This will be a 37-yard field goal try. Everything good. Kick is up. And the kick is good. And there's a penalty flag. At well, they talk. Refuse it. Never take points off the scoreboard. Please. Right. Third down. And now just a little less than 10. Alabama's run on third down before. And they do it again. So that's a very conservative series to open the second half. They and we'll, when they come out of the huddle, we'll check the backs. There's Turner, and uh, it's still Jelks in there, number 22. He's yet to carry the ball. Last time, the fullback carried it three times. In the Jokes has got it. Bounces outside. He can run. Picks up seven. Tony Flack. That's high praise indeed from Ray Perkins, who wasn't too bad himself. Uh, this is a pitch outside the Turner on third down and two, and he doesn't make it. Bill Mitchell, the weak side backer, came across and got him. And it'll be fourth down as the ball comes back to the 10-yard line. Second down and 20. And this is Tate running the ball over right tackle. Big hole and never really did have his full balance and on third down and three tron jackson replaces it tate has 30 yards on seven carries and james jackson will throw it swing it out to tron and the folks out there waiting for it guess who <laughs> number 97 Bennett. first game of the season trailing seven to three low kick but long and richardson has to retreat to his 26 to take it now gets a crack And McCluskey runs him down and keeps him from going for six. A great return by Greg Richardson, but even better ball twice. Once it was intercepted, and the second time he caught it. This goes to Jelks. I don't understand that call. Unless they're going to try for a field goal. Like Penn State was a record. Three. That's right. He kicked two in that game to win it six to nothing. The holder is Larry Abney. But he legged. Good. That might have been dead center. There's no win tonight. Virtually none. I mean, a young quarterback. They don't have to take any chances offensively. They can win with their defense. That's the reason they're staying so conservative, I would guess. Jackson still got it on a bootleg. Brought down by Vernon Wilkinson, the right cornerback. And now. James Jackson looking to throw it. Penalty flag down. Jackson running is knocked out of bounds across the field and we'll see about the flag. Rick, you make that kind of salary. <laughs> well, which I wish we had. I had to look good. Shula, left hand's one downfield. Pass is caught. Pulled in by Mike Bowman at the 49 of Georgia. Option, Shula pitches. Pitches almost too late for Jelks. He fumbled the ball out of bounds. Alabama will keep possession. That time it was Michael Willis, cornerback. Contact. Second down and about five. All of the Georgia 44. Oh, Jelks again. Oh, boy. There's a nail job by Big Henry Williams. Henry Williams is playing the third and long down. And now they're going to throw. Fumbles the football. Bounces back up. Keith out. To and they came right back to him, didn't they? In the Cotton Bowl game, Texas had a chance to be national champion. Three field goals. Nine to three was the score. And then the fumble punt, Georgia took it in, one ten to nine. That's what they really, but he's making those inside plays. Kenneth Sims now has credit for 14 tackles. He's a senior, Keith, and been steady for the last three years. First down, Alabama, from the 33. And up the middle goes Craig Turner, who's had a big night for the tie, and he runs for a first down to about the... This is good, surging back in there to about the original line of scrimmage, the 48. <laughs> well, they've only thrown four for the ball game. That, that's surprising. Greg Richards got to be saying, hey, what about me? Jelks is in there at tailback now. And Shooter rolls it out and pumps it down the middle to the big tight end, Thornton Chandler. And the 6 sixer from Jacksonville, Florida, pulls it in for a completion at the 33. If Turner stays in. Shula back, look out the bell. Held down the middle. Had the ball, 
but a wicked hit by John Little. And welcome to Division <laughs> 1A. Pippen. Hit a 48-yarder earlier. This one may not get there. Wide to the right. Rarely hits from 48. And then the ball game. So the offense could get going. Worley drops it. Alabama's got it. Drops it right into the hands of Cornelius Bennett. How does Bennett get on the side, Keith? They run every time. For Alabama. Just inside the Georgia 24. Shula back. Looks for Bell, throws to the corner for Bell. He catches it. He's out of bounds. No TD. Moss was with him, and Bell veered to the outside, and when you say 41-yarder. He missed him on a goal from 47. He's got this one on the way, and it's good. Now Johnson's back. Fire. Good. Good throw, Keith. Good German Arch Jackson in with McCluskey now. They're still throwing. Dump it off. Hockaday. Another Georgia first down. Close to the Alabama 35. This game. National television. Oh, this man. is Tron Jackson. And he's close to the 30, about four or five, four and a half yards short of the first down is Wayne Davis. Johnson's numbers. 450 to play in the ball game. 13-3 Alabama. The pass is caught. Great catch by Osborne. Oh, we that was a great catch. Ron Jackson and Henderson and Johnson throwing. Drills it. In zone. Touchdown. Hockaday. Is that poised? That's what Pat, we talked about passing. Mind. Henderson in motion. Johnson rolls to Hockaday's side. Throws in the corner. It's no good intended for Keith Henderson. Had his hands on it, but it was a little out. Georgia is bound to get pretty good field position out of it if they handle the punt. And the crowd is in the middle of it. Option. Shula kept it. First down. Well, I called it right. <laughs> Three, two. Gets it off at two. Little shovel pass inside to the running back, Bobo, the fullback. Time out, quick. And right now, Georgia has called time. They don't show they're going. They're going after him, but not with Oh, it's blocked! It is blocked! It is blocked! And into the end zone, and it is touchdown, Georgia! I don't believe it! Kelvin Ruff covers it, and I believe it was Terry Webster who blocked it. How many times have we seen Georgia? The flag called the team running. The extra point is good. Many today. He has to be it. Little back gets some pressure. Steps away from it. Throws the ball to the sidelines to Richardson. Steps out of bounds. Up at 45 for a first down. And you've got 30 out of bounds. Jelks, another speedster in there. Shula getting good protection, gets it away. Bell's in the middle, and he's down at the 30, and now they're within Van Tippen's range. And the clock stops. Here's the blitz. Richardson breaks to the sidelines, has the ball, steps quickly out inside the 20. I'd throw it in the end zone from here, wouldn't you? Yes, sir. He's open. Bell, and it's touchdown. What a great performance by Shula. It was a pick play. I'm not sure it was an illegal pick play, but the man covering Bell was blocked off by an Alabama player or one of his teammates. And he came perfectly clean, wide open down the middle. Georgia being in a blitz, man-for-man -man coverage. Shula filled the call. Incredible drive by the Alabama Crimson Tide as Mike Shula with no timeout. And the people who made the big catches for them were Greg Richardson and Albert Bell. And Bell gets his second touchdown of the night. 
He caught four passes for 78 yards and two TDs, and Van Tiffen nails the extra point. And with 15 seconds to play in the ball game, it goes back the other way. Oh, it is far from the 40 the now. Johnson cranks it up and throws it out of bounds, and the game's over. The Crimson Tide of Alabama, looking more and more like real red elephants, defeat the Georgia Bulldogs by a score of 20 to 16.